Happy Wednesday. It's Whip Wednesday. That means we come online and we share with each other what we have uh, going on the hooks, on the needles, or basically in our lives in general, right? Works in progress. Well, if you're sticking around, you saw that I started my heirloom stocking and I spent the whole day getting to a certain point and then ripping it out. And for some reason, I just don't get frustrated anymore with having to frog anything that I do. If I really want to do it, I just take a deep breath and I begin again. The thing is, I spent all day working on that stocking and I obviously I don't have it. I ripped it out. There's pictures of it in the community tab if you want to look at it. <laughs> And, and, and the mountain of yarn it turned into when I ripped it out. Um, and I thought, okay, well, I am going to be a good girl because I am taking a course, a course in heirloom stockings. And I am going to look at the yarn that is prescribed, suck it up and order it. So I did, just for one stocking. It's a little bit lighter. It's got some, it's a little bit softer. So I'm hoping yeah, that's going to help my brain wrap around the pattern. I don't know why I kept jacking it up. I really don't. It's not, it's not, the graph is not that big. <laughs> and it's not difficult. So anyways, we will do that again once the yarn comes in. And, you know, since then, I found dozens of other patterns that I just want to get my fingers into. But I have works in progress I need to do. Now, if you look behind me, you're going to see my bears. I brought them upstairs. Are they falling over? This room's a mess. It's supposed to be my yarn room. If I showed you, if I took a picture of this room, holy moly. I promised my daughter I wouldn't come up here by myself <laughs> in case I, I fell. There's no way. There's no way I'm getting up. But if I fall, I'm going to be on a pile of yarn, so at least it's going to be comfortable. What was I saying? Oh, my bears. Okay, I had an epiphany on the bears. I do not like the round muzzle anymore. That is part of the pattern, so I designed my own muzzle. And I know it looks kind of weird, and it will look weirder the closer they get to you. But I, I like it. Hold on. See? It's flat. And his little nose is a heart. So I love it. And I think it's going to look better once I get some eyes and ears on him. But I can't put the safety eyes on him because I got his head sewed up. And the eyes that I have crocheted makes him look like cocaine bear. So, <laughs> I'm waiting on that little small boy voice to tell me how to get these eyes done. I know how to do the ears. Big old floppy circles, that's what I like. They don't make them all come tumbling down. So anyways, waiting on that, how to finish these bears, waiting on the yarn, to restart my heirloom stockings but I needed to work on something so I started some little things last night and it just wasn't it just wasn't man I think I might be having some side effects from my new medication protocol they changed up my medication my cancer treatment here a few months ago a few months ago I decided to uh, have a really bad reaction to the medication that I have been on for almost three years so they had to figure something else out. They figured it out because they're the doctors. And I do what they tell me to do. Um, but I'm experiencing a little bit of joint pain. Um, a little bit of fatigue. And let me tell you, <laughs> fatigue. You know, before you actually experience fatigue, you think, oh, you're sleepy. Somebody's experienced fatigue. They're, they're sleepy. They need a little layup. No. Fatigue is that feeling of your head being like a hundred pounds and you can't lift it off the pillow. That, that 
that feeling you get when you have the flu minus the uh, the fever where you just can't even lift a pinky finger that's fatigue so my sleep hasn't been very good since my brother passed away and I think I'm experiencing some fatigue but I'm not in bed I mean I'm sitting up so I could just be a little depressed grieving just a little bit but you know I need to have something to do while I sit there and grieve or watch TV or whatever I like to have a little project going sometimes it's been bad enough to where I just crochet a chain and let it go crochet yeah but no I want to do something so last year I made a mess of these beautiful little stockings to hang on the tree <laughs> I was gonna give them to my kids I didn't give them to my kids you can make a bunting out of them you can make a garland so I thought you know what what might be cute let's make stockings again only this is and I just sit there and I kind of play with it the heel needs to be a little bit deeper I think a little more white here but I was thinking wouldn't it be cute to make little Christmas tree stockings that look like boot socks or work socks I thought so so that's what I'm I don't have one finished yet that's my first one so I'll probably rip it out and make the white a little bit deeper before I finish it this is also a little bit bigger than my beautiful stockings I made last year because the yarn is thicker and if your yarns thicker or your hooks a little bit bigger your projects gonna be a little bit bigger it's true and smaller if you go down okay so that's what I got going works in progress on Wednesday Mm-hmm. I think I've shared everything with you. I wish I, I wish I had something. Oh, I showed you the bears. I was going to say, I wish I had something exciting to show you. But see here, I was afraid. I What, I've been gone for a couple of days. It's like, mm-hmm, it's going to happen again. I'm going to make a couple of videos. I'm going to fall off. No, I'm not. Even if I come on with something stupid, I'm going to come on because I've made a commitment. Okay? All righty. What's going on with you? What is your work in progress this Wednesday? And it doesn't have to be knitting or crochet. Tell me, what do you do? My, my brother-in-law just finished an awesome shed in his backyard. Yeah, me and my sisters are thinking, how many cots can we fit in that thing? Because that could be like, you know, the summer home. I'm not even kidding. Don't worry about the water. We'll drink out of the hose and we'll sneak in to use your bathrooms. It's awesome. Congratulations, Andy. We love it. But what are you doing? What are you working on? Do you need some help? Do you, do you need some ideas? I've got a friend, Maguru. She's got some uh, embroidery going. She's doing some beautiful work that I, I've asked her to share with me, and she does, because I don't know. Arts and crafts. Needlework just makes me excited because I know how much it does for me, how it makes me feel. I love it. So let me know. What do you got going on? Are you building a shed? Are you crocheting a sock? Are you putting noses on teddy bears? Anything. You got a new recipe you want to share? I'd love to hear from you. But this is Whip Wednesday. I didn't miss it. I'm here showing up. Keeping commitments, setting goals, you know what I'm saying. You have a wonderful Whip Wednesday and tell me what you've got going on. <laughs>